oil industry leaders say demand has dropped significantly because of the coronavirus pandemic. That and the supply glut has sent markets reeling. Prices rallied a bit after OPEC Plus agreed to cut production by billions of barrels per day, but prices were on a roller coaster ride Thursday as Bloomberg TV reported Saudi Arabia's raising crude prices after a months long price war with Russia that nearly pushed the U.S. to the brink. But Reuters reports Iraq is not sticking to OPEC's agreement to cut production. WTI crude is at $24 a barrel about this morning. It has prompted record well shut-ins and layoffs in North Dakota's oil fields. Senator Kevin Kramer says those companies either need to borrow money or restructure their debt. Unlike the huge multinational companies that are waiting to gobble up the little companies in places like North Dakota, um, these companies are highly leveraged. And they're good companies. They ha they've been credit worthy in the past and will be again when we come to the other side of this. The thing is having a bridge to get them to the other side. So that's what I'm working on next.